being able to access water and sanitation, that's a basic human right. You know, that's not something that should be unattainable in a developed country, in a, you know, especially a city like Boston. We, we called it Project Suds, serving up dignity with showers. We found that people have a pretty difficult time accessing showers and bathrooms in Boston. The majority reported that it, it's usually a challenge for them. I could walk into a Starbucks or I could walk into any bathroom in the city and no one's going to tell me I can't use it. But when you're homeless, that's kind of, that's where the issues run up. You can't just walk in there with all your belongings. So we partnered with Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program and we wanted to get at what are the limits to hygiene and sanitation among those experiencing homelessness. Lava May, it's sort of like an outreach model. They realize that in the city of San Francisco there are 7 to 14 showers for thousands of homeless and they wanted to change that. We kind of came into this thinking it was just about showers and it's actually there is an overall lack of um, public toilets as well. And probably the biggest barrier that emerged was concern about your personal belongings being stolen. So much of the focus coming out of the translation of this concept, kind of are mobile showers valuable in Boston, um, emerged to this awareness of the, the needs of our existing shower infrastructure, which has to do with the quality and the safety rather than the availability. I think all along um, our goal has always been to, to produce something that's useful and helpful to the city. So we've always, we've always had a, our goal in mind of sharing our findings. They're laying the groundwork. Um, for these steps because if you go to the mayor's office and say I have this great idea let's build these buses they're collecting the data to justify the need for something like this.